We have more developments on the mass shooting that happened here at Logan Square last month and that some in the community are focusing on healing. City officials are exploring legal action. I really don't even think I'm going to come up here no more. Tanya Harris says Logan Square no longer has a place in her heart after her 15-year-old nephew William was shot at the shopping center a few weeks back. He took nine shots to him. His legs are not where they need to be. He did take two steps. God is good. Um, he's, it's just a long road to recovery, wrong place at the wrong time. Authorities say the shooting stemmed from a large party and four other victims were shot. All survived. This facility wasn't big enough to host this music event. You had people coming from all over Michigan, different cities. And when the venue is only big enough to hold maybe 150 people, then you get left with people in the parking lot and that's where the problem is. We confirmed with the city that Logan Square does have a cabaret license, which means they were able to have the event. But Mayor Andy Shore says more could have been done to prevent the shooting. I believe that that, that they didn't have the appropriate security uh, and the party got out of control. You know, we we issued the license. We we trust them. We believe them. We issued the license and it it didn't go as they said it would. So you, you put your trust in someone and if it doesn't happen as it should, then there are consequences. Insure says consequences in this situation could mean Logan Square losing their cabaret license. Yeah, I don't feel that they uh, they did what they were supposed to under the cabaret license. Uh, so we have uh, sent a, a resolution to council for a uh, review of that license and possible revocation. And council last night uh, referred it to a hearing officer. The hearing officer will review the case and then make recommendations to council. And as the city waits for the next steps, Tanya says she's forced to take space away from a shopping center she grew up going to in Hill. But she does find joy in one thing, the support she's gotten from the community. With the prayer of the community, it's not just me being influential, it's the community coming together. I never knew how many people in our community alone just cares. Now we did reach out to the owners of Logan Square to get their comments on this whole situation, but they did not get back to us by the time this story aired. For now, reporting here on the south side of Lansing, I'm Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.